Hi Great Falls! Welcome back to Charlene's TV! And before we start our discussion for today, I want to invite you all to enroll in Charlene's TV English 101 online class. So this class will help you to understand grammar better and to be more comfortable in speaking English. And one good thing about this online course is a big part of the proceeds will go to the fund for the selected senior citizens who will receive grocery packages in this coming December. So kung mag enroll ka, matututo ka ng mag-English, ako mismo magtuturo sa inyo at makatutulong ka pa sa ating mga beneficiaries. For more details, pwede mong i-click yung link sa description box and let's start! I'm gonna tell you the easiest trick on how to know when to use these words. But before you say thank you, let's start! So, gratefuls, say and tell. Pareho ito sa Tagalog na ang ibig sabihin ay sabihin or sabihan. Nasa present tense ito or pwede ding future tense pero i-discuss natin pati yung past tense nito mamaya. Alright, let's take a look at these examples. So, which one is correct? Letter A, I can't tell my mom that I broke my phone. Letter B, I can't tell that I broke my phone. Alright, so sentence A is correct. I can't tell my mom that I broke my phone. Alright, paano nangyari na tama itong letter A? Diba? I can't tell my mom that I broke my phone. Tell ang ginamit natin dahil simple lang ang rule. We will use the word tell if the next word is someone. Okay? Ginagamit natin yung salitang tell kung ang kasunod na salita ay someone or tao. Diba? And kapag ang kasunod na salita ay hindi tao, maybe ito ay pangyayari, bagay, o kaya naman ay pagkain o lugar, ang gagamitin natin ay say. So, dito sa example natin na letter A, ang kasunod na salita ng word na tell ay mom. Diba? Or my mom. Yung nanay ko, that is someone. Tao yan. Therefore, ang ginamit natin ay tell. Okay, tignan natin tong sentence bin natin. I can't tell that I broke my phone. So, this is grammatically incorrect. Mali po ito kasi yung kasunod ng tell, di ba, that I broke my phone, hindi naman yan someone, hindi naman yan tao. Eh, yung tell ay ginagamit lang natin kung ang kasunod ay tao. Itong that I broke my phone ay pangyayari. Therefore, we should use the word say, okay? I can't say that I broke my phone, okay? So, ganun po yung mangyayari sa pangungusap natin. Tandaan na kapag say something ang kasunod, tell someone ang kasunod. Say kapag bagay ang kasunod at tell kapag tao ang kasunod. So, yung sentence A natin, ang ibig sabihin sa Tagalog dito ay hindi ko masabi sa nanay ko na nasira ko yung cellphone ko. Dito naman sa sentence B, I can't say that I broke my phone. Sa Tagalog, hindi ko masabi na nasira ko yung cellphone ko. So, maybe, sabi ng isang tao na um, I've been using it for five years. I can't say that I broke my phone because it's pretty old. Hindi ko masabi na nasira ko yan kasi luma naman na talaga. So, doon natin gagamitin yung say kapag hindi tao yung kasunod. Say something, tell someone. Alright? Okay, so say and tell, pareho itong nasa present tense or future tense. E paano kapag tapos na yung nangyari, nasabi na o nagsabi na? Therefore, itong say magiging said, itong tell magiging told. Alright? So past tense na itong said, saka itong told. Tapos na, nagsabi na, nasabi na. And magandang palatandaan ito, di ba ito tell, told, pareho nagsisimula sa letter T. Diba? Letter T, ibig sabihin ay tao. Diba? Tao, kasunod ay tao. Tell or told ang gagamitin natin. Pare-pareho itong nagsisimula sa letter T. Tingnan natin itong example na to. I told you to bring your enrollment form. Sa Tagalog, sinabi ko sa'yo na dalhin mo yung enrollment form mo. Okay? Ang ginamit natin ay told kasi ang kasunod na salita nito ay you, ikaw, tao yan. So, letter T pareho. So, told ang gagamitin natin. Hindi tell dahil tapos nang sabihin. Okay? Sinabi na, tapos na. Okay, anong gagamitin natin dito? Said or told? Let's take a look at sentence C. Jasmine said 
or told that she will attend my birthday party. Okay, ang gagamitin natin dito ay said. Paano natin alaman na said? Kasi yung kasunod na salita that she will attend. ba? Diba? Ito ay pangyayari. Gawa ito at hindi tao. Therefore, ang gagamitin natin ay said. Okay? Sentence D. Jasmine blank me that she will attend my birthday party. Said or told. Okay. Ang gagamitin natin dito ay Oo, pansinin ninyo na pagkatapos ng blank ng pagpipilian kung said or told ay merong word na me. Ako, sa akin papunta yung mensahe ni Jasmine. So, magiging dahil tao ako, diba? Letter T, nagsisimula ang tao. So, letter T din yung gagamitin natin na verb, told. Jasmine told me that she will attend my birthday party. Alright? So, napakadali lang tandaan. Pag letter T, uh, tell, told, kailangan tao yung kasunod. Alright? So, how to use say or tell in reporting a speech? Halimbawa, Tinasabi mo lang yung mga bagay na sinabi lang din sa'yo. So, tingnan natin tong sitwasyon na to. Tinatanong ka ng nanay mo kung sino yung nagtapon ng old vase ninyo sa bahay, ng lumang paso ninyo. And alam mo na inutusan ka lang ng tatay mo na itapon yun. Okay? So, pwede mong sagutin yung mama mo na, Dad, blank me to throw out the old vase. Anong gagamitin natin sa blank? Said or told? Okay, dapat tama na yung sagot mo dito, grateful ha. Gagamitin natin ay yung salitang told. Kasi, tignan ninyo, may word na me, yung me ay tao yan. Therefore, nagsisimula sa letter T, at letter T din ang gagamitin natin na verb, which is yung told. Okay? Eh, papano kung halimbawa sinabi mo yun sa mom mo, eh, nagtataka siya, hindi siya makapaniwala na inutusan ka ng tatay mo na itapon yung old vase. Okay? So, magtatanong siya sa'yo. Sabi niya, really? So, pwede kang sumagot na, Yes, mom. He blank. Put that old vase in the trash. I'm gonna buy her a new one. Okay, dito sa blank natin, anong gagamitin? Said or told? Okay, tingnan natin yung clue ha. Pagkatapos ng blank, ano yung word na kasunod? Diba? Put that old vase in the trash. Ito ay gawa, ito ay pangyayari, hindi tao. Therefore, we will use the word said. Okay? So, he said, put that old vase in the trash and I will buy her a new one. Diba? Bibilihan naman pala ng bagong vase si mami. Alright? Alright, grateful. Tandaan mo lang. Say or said something. Tell or told someone or tea. Key, kailangan ang kasunod din ay tungkol sa tao. Okay? So, tingnan natin kung may natutuhan sa video lesson natin na to. We will have a quiz. It's gonna be seven items. And you will have seven seconds to answer each. And ready na ba? Pull up muna yung comment section para dyan ka na magsagot. Grateful. Let's start! Alright, number one. The girl blank us where she saw our puppy. Said or told. The correct answer is told. Diba grateful? Ang kasunod na word ay yung us. Kami or namin. Yan. Uh, tao yan kaya letter T ang sagot natin told. Number two. I asked her if she wants a pizza but she blanked no. Said or told. The correct answer is Said. Okay, no na lang yung kasunod, eh. hindi naman tao yan. So, said. Number three. The doctor blank that we should get a second opinion. Said or told. The correct answer is said. Okay, so siguro grateful yung iba ay eh, told ang sagot dito kasi nakita nyo yung we. Diba? Pagkatapos nung blank. And, yan, sa Tagalog, tayo, tao nga naman yan. Pero yung we ay bahagi lang ng sinabi ng doktor. Hindi yan yung kausap niya. Hindi yan yung patutunguhan ng mensahe. Kung told ang kagamitin, dapat ay ganito. The doctor told us, or the doctor told my mom, that we should get a second opinion. Alright? So, 
grateful. Dito sa items number 4, 5, 6, and 7, apat na yung choices natin. Say, said, tell, told. Okay? Madali lang grateful. Dagdagan natin ng konting challenge, ah. Number 4. Alvin blank that he would wait until I graduate. Okay, tamang sagot dito ay said. Tapos na yung mangyari at nasabi na. So, Alvin said that he would wait until I graduate. Number five. The school principal blank us that the classes were suspended today. The correct answer is told. Okay, so kasi may us. Pagkatapos ng blank. So, may tao na pinatutunguhan, may someone. At hindi tell. Kasi tapos nang na sabihin ng principal, kaya told na. And number six. Please blank hello to your sister for me. Okay, ang tamang sagot dito ay say. Dahil mangyayari pa lang, at ang kasunod ay hello. Huwag ka malito dito ha, kasi oo, may sister na nabanggit at tao yan. So, pwedeng tell. Kaso, nauna yung hello. Ang hello dito ay something na gustong ipasabi. ba Please say hello to your sister for me. And number seven, last one. So, sana marami ka ng tamang scores. Grateful. I'm bored. Please blank a joke. Say, said, Tell or told. Pag-isipan mo na maigi kasi may trick dito. Okay, grateful number seven. The correct answer is tell. Hala ma'am, Sherlyn, paano po naging tell yun? Ay hindi naman po tao yung joke. Di ba ginagamit lang yung tell at told kapag tao po yung kasunod? Kasi po kapag yung salitang lie, the truth, Joke, story, ang pinag-uusapan, e-tell or told palagi ang ginagamit. Exemption po yan sa rule. So, di, di ba ito joke yung nasa pangungusap natin? So, it will be, please tell a joke. So, katulad din po ng, Sarah, you're good at telling stories. You should apply for the job. Hindi naman pwede yung, you're good at saying stories. Medyo mali po yung grammar nun. And katulad din nung, the witness must Tell the truth, okay? Yung truth, joke, story, at lie ay para laging tell or told ang ginagamit, alright? And ayan, grateful sana marami kang natutuhan. And ang saya nitong topic na ito, shout out natin si Kevin Lester Sabay. Thank you po, Ma'am Charlene, pa shout out po from Karigara Leyte. Hello po sa mga taga Leyte. And shout out rin kay Apeya May uh, Beltran. Hello, Pia. Ito na shout out na ulit kita. And kay Jean Olitan. Thank you, Ma'am Charlene, and God bless you pa shout out. Hi, Ate Jean, kung taga saan ka? Hello. And si Ate Maricel Hinova. Hi ma'am, good afternoon pa. Shoutout po from Taiwan. Galing nyo po ma'am mag-explain. Thank you po. Marami ako natututuhan sa inyo at paulit-ulit kong pinapanood ang upload ninyo. Thank you Ate Maricel at sa mga kababayan natin dyan sa Taiwan. Magandang technique yun. Ano? Kasi hindi naman lahat makukuha natin sa isang paliwanag lang. So it's good to watch the videos over and over again. Pero wag naman sobrang paulit-ulit. Kailangan matutuhan ka na the second time around. And... That's it, grateful. If you want to learn more about grammar, i-click mo lang itong video na to kung may time ka pa. At kung gusto mong matuto sa pronunciation, i-click mo naman itong video na to. That's it for today. See you! Bye-bye!